Well, welcome back and thanks for watching NBC5 News at Sunrise. I'm Matt Jordan and I am joined in studio this morning by Robin Downward, founder and artistic director for the Randall Theatre. Robin, thank you very much for joining us. No problem, thank yeah, you. Good morning. It's good early. Morning. It's been an hour earlier than just about <laughs> we normally come in, but right. uh, I thank you very much for joining us. First, I just want to talk about, in real general terms, the Randall Theatre. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the Randall Theatre, uh, we are in our seventh season mm -hmm. right now, and uh, we have been producing theatre at our uh, home uh, converted warehouse space on Front and Third Street. Uh, for the past seven years, and uh, we got to a point where we were starting to turn a, a lot of people away. We were selling out houses. And we started thinking about, well, we've got to, we've got to do something about this. You know, if we're if we're growing, we have to, you know, we have to pay attention to that growth and. It was just sort of a happy accident that we're here today to talk exactly. about. Exactly, and that's what we did want to talk about. Exciting new developments, a second theater, and you guys are moving into a spot in Jacksonville. Let's talk a little bit about that. Right, right. We are, uh, we're not moving, we are expanding, mm -hmm. and, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, uh, we, have the, we had the opportunity to, um, to move into this space. Um, the folks at the Calvary Church, uh, through a, a board member of ours, uh, they just struck up a conversation and, and the folks at the church said, well, we're only here two days a week. They don't use the building other than Sunday morning and, and Wednesday night. And they were looking for some type of community service that they could use the building for. And so for the past year, we've been talking about the, uh, the potential and finally came to an agreement. And uh, uh, there will be renovations happening to the inside to convert it into more of a, of a, of a theater type look. And uh, the city of Jacksonville has sort of welcomed us with open arms. So it's been, it's been great. So uh, being able to expand uh, helps our current patron base because our current patrons love their musicals, their comedies, their, their well-known dramas. Uh, which we will be doing in, in Jacksonville. And then the Medford space will, uh, starting in 2018, show more of the uh, original productions, maybe grittier dramas, things that have a little bit more meat to them that still have a, a, an audience, but maybe not as large as, as our main stage production. So each theater is kind of going to have its own little personality it's, to it then, yes, too. Yes, exactly, right? exactly. You know, um, uh, people that enjoy the shows that we've done for the past seven years, uh, they'll be able to come out to Jacksonville and see those. And then those people that, that really uh, would like to be a little more challenged by their theater, and plus also the actors will be able to do things that are a little bit more meaty as well. And that'll be in the Medford location which, with the smaller house. So this will also help you reach out to uh, different audiences throughout much of the area as well, huh? Exactly, exactly, because there's there there's a large percentage of, of theatrical patrons that, again, love their, their comedies and their and their musicals, but uh, sometimes our, our, our more um, uh, artistic patrons uh, feel a little neglected. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a couple of theaters in the Valley, CTP, uh, Club of the Theater Project, and Ashland Contemporary Theater that, that help out a lot with that. But uh, being able to offer that uh, really expands the reach of what we will be able to do as a theater. Very cool. So you're not moving, you're expanding. Yes. When can people expect to see some new plays at either location? Right. Well, ja in Jacksonville, mm -hmm. we have, uh, we're going to be opening on, uh, uh, excuse me, May 5th with the musical uh, On the Town. Uh, we will have a On the, on the Town with Ginger Rogers uh, fundraiser, which will be a Ginger Rogers fashion show of her real actual gowns uh, and auction items of Ginger Rogers. Uh, that will be on April 22nd. Uh, at the Jacksonville location. And then this uh, Friday, mm -hmm. uh, we open at our theater in uh, Medford, uh, Marry Me a Little, the Stephen Sondheim uh, right. musical, uh, which uh, two actors playing uh, two lonely people uh, <laughs> looking for love and they live right next door to each other and don't even know it. Excellent. So re really fun, uh, beautiful music, uh, well acted by uh, Benjamin Linda O'Neill and Haley Forsyth. Excellent. Robin, thank you so much. A lot to look forward to. Yeah, a lot to look forward to. If people want to donate, there's a link online uh, and uh, to help us out with the renovations at the theater. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks Once again, and we'll be right back.